This is a quick intro to CICD with GitHub Actions. The motivation here, as, as an MLOps vendor, one of many, we're often talking, and, and forgive me for using the broad brush of we, but we often do this, we're often talking about productivity. End users will be more productive because the steps in their ML engineering workflow will be easier with our tools. But we should explain a little bit more what we mean by that. And oftentimes there's a conflict, especially with the data scientist, to whom is work, this person is working in a development environment. They're not running tests. They shouldn't be. Everything they're doing is exploration and research. It's when they're moving code from production from development into production, where there are certain sets of practices that teams that put code into production tend to follow. And then we're saying, hey, our tool will make those steps easier, thus you more productive. So let's walk through a very, very basic example of this with GitHub Actions, which is one tool of many. So let's say I'm, I'm doing some very impressive data analysis, and I have this data, data processing file where I'm reading in a CSV and I'm writing it back out. It's impressive stuff. Now, let's say someone upstream of me makes a change to my data, and this is going to cause something to break. So do not do this ever, but I'm going to go ahead and edit this directly in GitHub, and I'm going to commit this change directly to my main branch. So I'll do that. So now I show up as the analyst in the morning, and I come down and I pull down the latest changes from main, and I'm going to check out my latest branch and get to work. But when I do that, I'm a good analyst, so I'm going to go ahead and run my little test script on the data set, and I'm going to see, ah, I get this assertion error. Somebody made a change. Uh, we have a problem with one of the columns. Instead of ID, I have this other thing. Okay, so I, the, what we've done right here is we've said, oh, look, code was changed on a server, or code, code was changed somewhere. It, it showed up in our code base. I pull down the code. I run some sort of test. I see that there's a problem. I now at least can go back and try to fix it. There may be a lot of manual effort there, but I've, I've been notified. However, what if we could catch this without having to pull the code down? What if we could catch this when the actual change was made? And this is one area where a CICD tool, in particular GitHub Actions, is very, very useful. So in this case, let's go back. And what we'll do is we're going to edit this file once more. And we'll make it, we'll change it from a breaking change to a non-breaking change. Uh, we'll, we'll fix it. And this time we're going to create a new branch, which would be the kind of the proper step instead of committing directly to main. And we'll go ahead and propose our changes. So now we're opening a pull request and someone else from our team will merge our PR. And when we do this, GitHub now is going to run a process through something called a GitHub action that we've, we've configured to essentially, and let's go ahead and just take a look while it's running, copy down, give us a compute environment, copy down our code and execute our test which is, as this is running here, essentially exactly the same thing I was doing on my local machine, or maybe more accurately, similarly to what I'd be doing if I had a Docker file, for example, which I do to, to, run this similar, to run this example, to run this test. But now I can see, okay, hey, we ran the test, the data's in good shape. You know, it's only gonna run the test that we've defined, but it's run this, it looks good. We can go back and we can actually merge this PR with a bit more confidence. So I'll jump in and I will merge the pull request. So in summary, we're talking about, again, painting with a broad, broad brush, developer, data scientist, ML engineer productivity. We're often talking about the steps that go from once you've taken, you've created something in development and moving into production. There are lots of great tools out there for software developers to make them more productive. These steps of like taking code, putting it on a different compute resource, installing dependencies, running stuff, seeing if something breaks. GitHub Actions is one example that's pretty fun.